So a lot of you guys were asking how I did this built up animations in my recent videos. And I'ma tell you right now, this is a secret poopoo doopoo jutsu passed down from generation to generation. But because you guys are my dudes, I'ma reveal this secret even though it will dishonor the poopoo doopoo clan and they will probably revoke my two month membership. Anyways, jokes aside, this technique is not really the official way to do it. So I've seen a lot of these videos on Pinterest and Instagram where the interiors are built up like some Harry Potter magic. And I tried copying them with other softwares like Lumion and 3D Max, but those took way too long to render. So I came up with my own way to do those, which is probably wrong, but you know, if it's stupid and it works, then it ain't stupid. So for starters, the softwares that I used are SketchUp and Enscape 2.7 for 3D modeling and rendering. Then I have OBS Screen Recorder to record the video. And lastly, I use Premiere Pro to edit all of it together. Also to do this efficiently, you guys are going to need a second monitor. All right, to start it off, let us open up SketchUp and Enscape. So for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna use the Pikachu house. Links to that video up here. Anyways, once you have SketchUp and Enscape open, bring up the Enscape render window up to your second screen. Pow pow! And just like that, we are on our first steps to the journey of awesome animations. So the next thing we have to do is to move the objects you want to animate. And for this, we are going to animate the couch living area right here. So first thing I like to do is I like to imagine the movements I want to see in the animation. And for this scene, I want to see the carpet appear, then drop down onto the floor then followed by the side tables, and then the items on top of the side tables, then the couch, and lastly, the throw pillow will drop down onto the couch. Okay, now that we have that series of movements in mind, we just have to reverse the sequence of those movements, meaning we will start with the last object going on backwards. So our last object that we want to be moved is the throw pillow on top of the couch, and that is where we will begin. Okay, so let us just move that upwards. So for the movement, I usually like to move the items in four increments. So I'll move the pillow upward 50 millimeters, then 50 millimeters again, then just move it upward by 100 millimeters, and then 100 millimeters again. So that's 50, 50, 100, 100. That makes it so that the object drops down smoothly onto the couch. So when you're done inputting those movements, go ahead and hide the throw pillow. Now just repeat the process for the other items. Once you've done that, now comes the fun part. Open up your OBS screen recorder and select the screen where your Enscape render window is. Once you're recording, go to your Enscape render window and select the viewpoint you want for your animation. Then go back to SketchUp and just click Ctrl Z to undo the movements you just did. So the first Ctrl Z will undo the last command that we did, which is to hide our carpet. And before you hit Ctrl Z again to make the carpet go down, look at the Enscape render window and make sure it has fully rendered the scene where we unhid our carpet. So once it is rendered, which will probably take just two to three seconds, just hit Ctrl Z again. Repeat this process until all of our items are in their initial position. And ba bam you are halfway there, my dudes. Time to put it all together. So to edit the screen capture video, I will be using Premiere Pro, but you guys can use any software that has the cut feature. So go ahead and open up a new project in Premiere Pro, then import your screen capture video and drag it into your timeline. Now drag your timeline playhead onto a frame without the furnitures. Press C to activate the slice tool and just slice the video there. Then go forward one frame by clicking the right arrow button or by dragging the playhead. Then slice the video again. Now just delete the video before that by selecting it. Then press shift plus delete. So doing this will leave you with one frame for our animation. So for the next frame, just scrub through the timeline to find the frame where the first item appears, which is our carpet and slice it right there. Move one frame, slice again, then delete the video before that. So do this for every Ctrl Z motion you did in SketchUp. And when you're done, you should be left with this. And there you go, the most complicated way to animate an interior scene. So I'm gonna be honest guys, this isn't the best way to do this animation. This is just the way I did it. I'm pretty sure there's a more streamlined way out there. So if you guys know a video where they teach an easier way to do these sorts of animations, please leave it in the comments below. I would love to learn how to officially do it. Anyways, that is it for now. Thank you my dudes for watching. I will see you on my next episode. Flying peace. Okay.